Kieran, thank you for talking to us. Just a few days on from the Easter Monday game at Cheltenham. Uh, worth asking how the lads got through it physically and someone that did miss out was uh, Nathan Broadhead. How's he getting on? Yeah, we're getting on okay. Um, of course, it's a stage of the season where you have, um, you know, different niggles and knocks and, um, yeah, issues. But, you know, we're in a really good place physically. We're, we feel fit. We've trained hard all season and worked for, for these moments. So I'm sure we'll push hard to the last uh, the last whistle we had. Um, there there about everyone I've trained today, um, apart from George Edmondson. Uh, that's not been the case all week, but we got everyone out there today. So we'll make our decisions from there. You know, there's there's still a few not 100 percent, but um, we'll, we'll make the decisions what's right for the game. And while from a mental point of view, it's one game at a time. From a physical point of view, do you have to consider uh, Tuesday's game? And again, this is an opportunity to for the lads to show that they're ready when called upon. Yeah, um, we're focusing on Saturday. To be honest, that's the mindset at the moment. I know we have Tuesday a quick turnaround, but we have you know plenty of bodies fit and available so we can make changes when we think we need to whether that's this Saturday or whether it's Tuesday or next Saturday we'll make changes when we think it's right but um, it's very much yeah one game at a time the games are coming so thick and fast that you know you could plan way ahead for everything but you know I think with the, the importance of the games at the moment we go out every game with what we think is the, the right team tactically and of course physically and um, all the other aspects and uh, we'll deal with the next game when it comes. Yeah, it's another full house expected at Portman Road. Uh, a lot to look forward to and also what you're expecting from Charlton, and t uh, Charlton, sorry, Charlton tomorrow. Yeah, we can't wait to get out there. You know, the home support's been fantastic. We're, we're, we're loving the the energy, the atmosphere in the stadium um, and I think it'll be a really good game. You know, we'll, we'll come and try and play how we play. Charlton will come, I think, and, you know, try and play bravely as well and um, try and impose themselves on the game. So it should make for a really good game. So we've um, prepared as well as we could and now we're just looking forward to getting out there and hope that we can create the same intensity, same performance levels and, and same uh, atmosphere in the stadium to make us a really tough team to play against. Um, we know, you know, Charlton, while they're a dangerous team, they've scored goals all season, they're scoring goals currently. Um, they've got dangerous players, they have good attributes, they have some experience some physical players and they have some really technical players so we know all about their threats of course they have a new manager who's had a good, good impact as well since Dean went in so mm -hmm. um, we've prepared well for them but you know the focus is on us it's the stage of the season where you know focus on ourselves our own performances go and deliver a performance that gives us a chance to win the game. Uh, elsewhere on the day it's foundation fixture a lot of good work done from the foundation, the lads buy into it, the coaches buy into it. I know it's something that uh, Mark and you speak about all the time and, and what you're looking forward to in that aspect. Yeah, I think it's just another, you know, really positive um, aspect of the day. Um, you know, there's going to be another full stadium, um, two good teams, our team performing well and um, getting good results in general and um, a chance now to celebrate another side of the club and a really, really important pillar of the club. Um, so much good work going on, so much, um, you know, contribution to the community and, and a big part of the reason why there's, there's such a good atmosphere around the, the town at the moment to do with the football club. And, um, you know, we're really grateful for their work. So it's a chance for everyone to come and enjoy some of the the foundation experiences that are put on to, to celebrate some of the good work that's being done and very much look to the future as well because I know everyone's aspiration is to keep building those keep building those links keep finding more ways to help in the community to reach more people and um, a good uh, day to celebrate all those things and finally you did mention his name earlier in the interview it's unfortunate that George Edmondson is sidelined at the moment with an injury but a really nice moment for him personally uh, collecting the EFL player in the community for League One and it just shows the character that he is really. Yeah, it's a, a credit to him. Everyone's very proud of him for it. Um, and he's, he's certainly done it for the for the right reasons, as I've said before, but all the boys, you know, it's a, a particular um, aspect of the, the foundation that he really connected with and he, he wanted to help off of his own back. And um, yeah, it's a yeah, credit to his, his character and... Um, you know, the type of person he is. And uh, yeah, it's um, of course been a difficult season for him with injuries. Um, hopefully in, in a very small way, you know, he can know that he's he's made a big contribution to other parts of the football club as well as his, his big contribution on the pitch when he's been fit. He's also made a big contribution to the community. And I think that's for, for all our players, um, knowing that contributing on the pitch, of course, is massively important, but also um, contributing in the, in the community is a big part of being at this football club.